Venezuela's interim president Juan Guaido is calling for a military uprising. In a video he posted to social media from an airbase in Caracas, he says members of the military have joined him. He is calling for others to do the same. It's a part of what he is calling Operation Freedom, and it comes as he, can, as he continues to try and take down the Nicolas Maduro regime. Guaido saying the end of the Maduro regime begins today. Venezuela's Socialist Party leader, Diosdado Cabello, has called on government supporters to gather at the presidential palace to defend Maduro from what he is calling a small uprising of military traitors backed by the United States. This was the scene earlier. Tear gas was being fired at a highway overpass next to La Carlota Air Base, where soldiers supporting Guaido have been standing guard. Leopoldo Lopez, a key opposition figure, also present during Guaido's message early this morning. Lopez has been under house arrest for leading an anti-government push in 2014. This morning, he did say on Twitter that he had been freed by military personnel. Senator Marco Rubio replying on Twitter, posting this. Quote, this is the moment for those military officers in Venezuela to fulfill their constitutional oath and defend the legitimate interim president Juan Guaido in this effort to restore democracy. You can write history in the hours and days ahead. And he also said, after years of suffering, freedom is waiting for people of Venezuela. Do not let them take this opportunity from you. Now is the moment to take to the streets in support of your legitimate constitutional government. Do not allow this moment to slip away. It may not come again. We have our own Cody Weddle. He is watching this this morning. He is in Bogota, Colombia. Cody, I know you're on the phone with us. Tell us exactly what is happening there and how much of an escalation this is in Guaido's attempt to gain power. Well, this is a huge escalation, and clearly Juan Guaido is putting all of his cards on the table this morning because uh, it's hard to see how, uh, if he, he is not successful with this, how he will uh, remain free uh, and with his movement to take down uh, Maduro. What we know at this point that there is at least a small group uh, of military members uh, at a main Air Force base in the center of Caracas who have declared themselves in open rebellion. There is uh, There are vo videos and photos uh, on social media of people there on the scene showing uh, these folks wearing uh, blue armbands to show uh, that they are supporting uh, they they are supporting Juan Guaido. They also have their military uniforms on. There is also uh, state media uh, reporting from inside that La, La Carlota Air Force Base uh, at this point. So it appears that at least part of that base is still in hands um, of Maduro. But very significant that we are seeing uh, Leopoldo Lopez on the street for the first time since. Uh, uh, we saw him back uh, in 2016, I believe, uh, at his home. He has been under house arrest, so clearly those military members allowing him to leave his home this morning and join Juan Guaido uh, on the highway. So this is a significant development. These will be decisive moments for Venezuela uh, in the, the hours and days ahead. Cody, he must be buoyed by this new uh, leadership and, and military uh, movement on his side because he's offered the military to come to his side and support him before and offered them immunity to leave uh, the Maduro regime. So this is definitely a change we've seen, even though Guaido has been trying to take over power for quite some time. Absolutely. Well, Juan Guaido, like you said, he has offered uh, amnesty to military members and security force forces members who uh, turn on Nicolas Maduro. For now, we've only seen uh, roughly a thousand military members cross the border into Colombia and defect against Maduro. Um, there are roughly 3,000 military generals in Venezuela. For now, they have not turned on Maduro. Um, and I think that's because they live very comfortable lives. They are uh, prop they are supported by Nicolas Maduro and and the money he can provide them, um, and they live very comfortable lives. So uh, I think they will be making this, the decision today or in the next few days about who to support. Um, because uh, if this, if we see uh, other military bases start turning, I think uh, then that will mean that uh, Nicolas Maduro is on his way out here. But if they're able to put this down, as they have in the past, it will probably mean we'll see Wang Guaido uh, arrested, um, and it could mean the end of his movement. So like I said, he's putting all of his cards on the table here. Um, so these next few hours will be decisive. We'll see if we see other uh, military bases uh, turning uh, against Maduro. But it does appear, at least at this point, that La Carlota, that air base in the middle of Caracas, at least part of it is still in the hands 
um, of, of Nicolas Maduro and his forces, although outside of it uh, there are uh, supporters of Juan Guaido in the military who are, who are with him uh, and supporting him. We know they're fi- firing tear gas there at that air base to disperse the protesters who have converged on that area to support uh, Juan Guaido. Um, um, so we'll see. I think we'll, we'll be seeing this in the next few hours. The Maduro regime calling this a coup. Clearly, very tense moments happening right now in Caracas. Our own Cody Weddle working his sources in Venezuela. He is in Bogota this morning for us. Cody will check in with you throughout the day as this major story develops.